Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blocks Roots video. I'm starting this one floating or flying over the sea back to Magma Island. I've got a lot of comments and uh, tips and tricks and all that stuff. And in the last episode, we actually defeated the Swan Boss and we changed our race to Mink. I don't really know what the best race in this game is. They all give you different abilities and Mink apparently gives you like a speed boost and stuff. So a lot of people say it's one of the best. So I'm just gonna keep it for now. But I also got my hockey and apparently I should have this equipment all the time. I think I can increase the damage of it or the maximum whatever it can do if I use combat and sword, but it'll still buff my light fruit damage. I'm not exactly sure about it. All I know is welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing another Blocks Roots video and we're attempting to fight Magma Admiral. Is that his name? I can't even remember. This guy right here, but I need to be level 350. So I can actually fight these next guys, the military spies. I haven't fought them yet. They give a really big bonus XP and I think, are they up here? I don't actually know where they are okay so in here wait where are the military spies is this one? Oh, yeah it is it's gotta be yeah okay so military spy now they're gonna be tough they're gonna do a lot of damage i can kick them off the entire mountain oh my gosh see you later dude <laughs> he's all the way down here and then yeah so they give me a good amount of experience but defeating this quest oh a chest defeating this quest will actually give me like an insane amount so i'll just have to get to level 350 in the last episode i basically had some help from people helping me beat the swan boss i didn't get a cape drop i was trying to get the pink cape for some buffs and there's apparently other buffs and things i need to go get but again i'm still learning i'm not exactly sure what i need to do but what i do know is that there's a like button down below and a subscribe button and if you want to do those things i wouldn't be mad i'm not gonna lie i would not be mad <laughs> i've been uploading daily videos on this second channel for like a while now and i guess i'm doing mostly blocks roots i'm probably still gonna do some variety games as well not just blocks roots so beware and be on the lookout for that but yeah i might just do a lot of blocks roots i'm not gonna lie <laughs> all right so what we need to do now is complete this quest see how many levels it gets us and take ourselves to level 350 whenever the magma admiral spawns which i'm, I'm assuming it's going to take a while considering the swan boss took like literally 30 minutes to spawn that was agonizingly waiting for that but um i i guess he spawns in here so i guess we'll we'll see i've been in the server for not that long so we'll see what happens make sure you like and subscribe dude i've been having fun with this game and we're making some progress like i've definitely gotten better since we first started i got my mastery up to almost ha over halfway Oh, God. I, uh, okay. As I say, I'm getting better. I died. So, uh, oh my gosh. I didn't set my spawn point. That is another lesson in blocks roots. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. One flight later and we are back. That was painful. Here we are. Yay. Okay. So we just need to defeat one more military spy. I'm not sure how much that'll give me. I think it'll get me up to like 340. So I just need to complete it a few times and then I'll be 350. Is this guy, this is not the guy I was fighting. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Um, it's gotta be dead. Yes. 339. Not too shabby. All right, we got to take this all the way to 350. So uh, I'll see you guys in a sec once we get to 350. And then I guess we'll wait for the boss to spawn. This might be our moment. I might not, I might not be able to take him out, uh, you know, by myself. So I might have to invite some people. Oh God, he's in there. The boss is in there. So that's the boss. So I need to fight him, but I need to be 350. It is going to be uh, quite some battle. Okay, here it is. We just have to do the quest one more time. Now, this doesn't guarantee that I can actually fight the boss yet, but we're going to fight him. That's for sure. I just don't know if we're gonna beat him that's the that's the thing so uh actually you know what i don't even need to do this i can just do another soldier quest so i'll fight these soldiers real quick seven of them i still haven't really gotten the group up technique like everybody said that i should group them up but it almost doesn't seem faster because i just kill one really quickly and then go to the next one and then by the time i get to grouping them all up it doesn't seem like it's that much faster but i could be wrong also when i group them up since i'm like barely better than them they actually like all kill me <laughs> so it's kind of hard to group them up but for now i do this pretty quickly um I am looking for like a way that I can AFK grind. Since I, I have two channels and I have kids and stuff, I can't really grind this game as much as like most people that dedicate their channels to it. So is there a way I can like AFK grind this game a little bit easier? Like I used, to, I did it when I was in the uh, Marine Fortress. I was AFKing on those enemies because they couldn't fight back because I have the light fruit. So I was able to just like straight up AFK. It was nice because then I was able to level up and prepare for videos, but I can't really like actually see sit here and put hours into it, unfortunately, because I have so much going on. So in order to play it, I have to do some AFK. So let me know if there's a way to do it. All right, now we're 350, 352. I think I want to put some into these stats. I don't know what the best is. I'm just going to put it into blocks fruits and see if I can do more damage. Because honestly, I don't really need my defense and stamina to be that good. I just kind of need to do a lot of damage. I mean, I might not do any damage and this might be a really hard fight, but we'll see. Or I might destroy him really quickly. Who knows? But this is it. Magma Admiral time. Might as well grab this chest right here. Oh God, the fire actually... Lava damage.
charges us. Who 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 would have thunk? All right, here it is. So he's in this area. I need to wait till my health goes all the way up. And I guess I'm just going to start spamming my light abilities. And there's lava in the middle, which we got to be really careful about. All right, hopefully this isn't too hard of a fight. There he is. There is the magma admiral. Let's get a little screenshot of him. I just wanted a screenshot, bro. I just wanted a screenshot. Okay, big damage on those. Then we use this. Big, big, big. And then we get another light beam going. And then a light barrage. Oh, we're doing big damage. We're doing absolutely huge damage. A little light kick there. Oh, God. Oh, my God. If he hits me, I die, basically. If he hits me, I die. Yeah, this is risky here. Okay, big damage. Ah! Sky beam barrage. He's coming at me, dude. Okay, it's pretty easy to dodge. Ah! We almost got him. We actually almost got him. Oh, my gosh. I just can't get hit again. There we go. Big beam. Sky beam. Oh, my God. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. And then one more. Oh, I got him with the light kick. Let's go. Dude, that was sick. I can't lie. That was fun. That was sick. So we just defeated the Magma Village boss. I guess I, I saw somebody comment saying that I should just focus on the boss NPCs in the previous area before going to the next one, which basically means I can't go to the next area yet until I'm like level 375 or 400, I think. That's probably the next milestone. So someone suggested to just wait for the boss to spawn and then keep fighting him. And that's the fastest way to level up. The problem is I don't know how often he spawns. I'm hoping it's every like couple minutes. It's not like 30 minutes minutes like Swan was. And also he was kind of hard. I mean, I guess I did beat him pretty quickly. If I had somebody in here with me, he'd probably be so much faster, but we defeated the Magma Admiral. I'm happy with that. I kind of want to fight him one more time and see if I can beat him again and then see where that takes us level wise. So let's grab this quest again and we'll see what we can get. I still missed the Skylands because I skipped that area because I was over leveled and I missed the observational hockey or something. Not sure what to do about that. Also, I didn't have this enabled when fighting him. I don't think I don't know if that matters, but yeah, I didn't I didn't have it enabled. I don't think it increases your blocks for damage. I think it's just melee and damage. I don't know. I think I think somebody said it increases all damage, but you can only like level it up by using your sword and stuff, I guess. I don't really understand it, but yeah, if someone could explain it a little bit better, let me know. But yeah, we're going to fight this boss one more time and see where that takes us level wise and see if we can beat him easy. Also, where should I be putting my stats? Should I be putting them into blocks fruit more or should I focus on like the other ones? Because I already have blocks fruit at 606. It's pretty up there. Okay, so I got him to spawn again. So we're going to defeat him real quick. And I actually just looked up the wiki. And according to this, the next area is the underwater city or Fishman Island. And I have to be level 375, I think, to go there. So we're kind of close. We'll have to defeat him a few more times, but that's what we'll be focusing on in the next episode. Again, if there's a way to grind faster, please let me know, because I really want to make a lot of videos on this game. But like, I started this channel making Bed Wars videos, right? And basically, oh my gosh, I'm destroying him. So basically, the Bed Wars videos like were fun and all, but they were really hard to make because I had to do a lot of like outside of video grinding, right? So I couldn't do Bed Wars anymore. I had to focus on just doing anything, like any game, because I just didn't have time to commit that much to a game. You know what I mean? So basically I started doing variety on this channel and Blocks Fruits was just one of the games I decided to do. And it happened to do really well and it was really fun. So what I'm saying is I definitely want to do this more, but I actually can't do it as much as I've been doing if it's this tedious. Obviously it's going to be a grind. It's like an MMO kind of game, right? But like if I can AFK grind, like like before. I just beat him while talking, by the way. That was easy. I'm destroying. But yeah, if there's a way I can AFK grind a lot easier, it would literally make the video so much easier and I'd be able to upload daily on Blocks Fruits. But if there's not, I'm probably going to have to switch back to variety. I'll still play Blocks Fruits, just not as often. But yeah, uh, I need to figure out easier ways to grind, basically. <laughs> so now I need to get to level 375 to go to the Underwater City or Fishman Island. But in this episode, we defeated the Magma Admiral and we got to level 360. We're, we're doing pretty good. Mastery 360 things are looking up. Dude, the dark blade is so cool. I kind of want to switch back to this. I just, I love the immunity and the powers with the light fruit because it's like a sword and abilities, but this thing is freaking so cool. So maybe I'll switch back to that. I don't know. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I post daily videos on this channel. Um, So check them out and go watch another one while you're at it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.